<laughs> well, if you want more, get more. Mm. Look for it. You'll get it. Mm. There's enough and more around. Please don't be desperate. Okay. Don't create a artificial. situation, artificial demand, as Raj says, by blowing, blowing up the what you read in the newspapers or what you see on television. The enough and HMT has made more than 11 crore watches. There's one for everyone. Be patient. Get it at the right price. I think enough designs for everybody to okay. lay your hands Choose on. From, yeah. Okay, we'll think then. Uh, wonderful to be associated with the group, of course. And uh, what I would like to share is, of course, the watch which I'm wearing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This watch mm -hmm. is my closest to my heart, also because there's a story behind it. This was my friend's father's. He joined uh, in 1979 in HMT as one of the general managers. It was given to him. Mm. And unfortunately, it was in a place which uh, I think this watch never deserved to be there. Of course, when I saw it, it was in a very bad condition. The glass wasn't right and it didn't look very bad. Just the glass changed and it gave you a different life together. Even the watch uh, mechanic who fixed this watch, the horologist, not mechanic, sorry for that, mm. had his eyes popped out after seeing this beauty and of course whenever I wear it it takes as it takes my heart that's my desh ki my dil ki dhat kar very good very good hey mera kya hai boss HMT started as a junoon the junoon started with looking at seeing Prashant's Jawahar and thinking why I can't have this you should turn Prashant and then well, looking for uh, Jawahar, <laughs> I came across many other uh, watches of HMT. And today, I'm lucky enough to have a small collection. And uh, also, I got the Jawahars, thanks to my friends. One in particular. <laughs> okay. So, and I enjoy them every day. Simple, <coughs> nice designs. Enjoy them every day. That's it. Varun. Yeah, basically, uh, I was inspired by Prashant. Uh, I got it uh, uh, Really, he inspired me to collect many watches. Uh, and one of the watch I'm proud to own is the Jawan. And I was looking for this watch for past uh, two years or so. Uh, someday, I got, got a call from a friend from Mumbai and he told there's a Jawan waiting for you. So I just went and picked up. That's it. Thank you. Hi, I'm Raghavendu Kamath and uh, I used to be one of the guys who hated HMT watches the most. When I started, uh, it was uh, my father who gifted me a uh, few HMT watches initially and I used to regret why he picked up uh, HMT instead of uh, Titan, which I like, or even the Swiss makes. But then, uh, you know, I... Uh, started liking a small nice uh, uh, mechanism that uh, works on hand wound mechanism on your wrist and slowly my uh, passion for HMT watches started growing bigger and bigger and today I have a small <coughs> humble collection and uh, hopefully I'll get whatever uh, I wish to in future. Thanks. Uh, for me HMT uh, started from my grandfather Jai Okay, my name is Jai Sorry. Uh, my name is Jai and for me the HMT started from my grandfather. He used to have HMT Avinash, and those days uh, keying a watch was really a big task for them. And uh, he, used, he actually teach me how to key the watch. So then uh, I used to key for uh, quite some years, and then I just left it. And when I moved to Bangalore, and when I was just uh, traveling from Majestic, uh, my bike stopped uh, because of. Uh, run out of fuel and then I stopped near HMT outlet of uh, Unity building then I saw a Janta and I just picked it unfortunately I don't have it today but uh, it is there with me in the home Hi my name is Ponnapa and uh, my association with HMT is uh, pretty long because uh, I have been born brought up in the uh, colony and uh, you know where the factory is around so HMP watches have been always around my house and uh, I think the first watch which inspired me is my father's watch which was a Jubilee and uh, he got it for his service for 25 years of service he got a Jubilee so this watch is what you know I kept along all the way and I think two years two years back the line my aggressive picking of watches as such started uh, just because of anxiety that still HMT was making, you know, head of the manual winding watches and the automatic watches. So it's been a lovely journey for me collecting watches. I've made some lot of friends, like groups like these, and across the other places as well. 
uh, I mean, I admire many people because of their love towards uh, you know, the kind of brand and the emotional attachment towards the watches. So I think going forward, we should continue it as a group, and uh, we should we should we should not jump into uh, you know anxiety that the company is coming into close. We should. There are there are thousands of watches still available, so let's take it slowly and collect it rather than jumping in by paying something more or uh, which, which, which which might not become a kind of a kind of a collectible asset. So yeah, so that's what I would say, and uh, we are rocking to this group. So <laughs> all right, sort of. Hi, I'm sorry. Uh, my horological journey began with my father's old dilapidated watch, which I discovered one day in the Almira. And, uh, I couldn't believe my eyes when it started working when I shook it. I re had it restored and then I wanted to find another one of such piece. Imagine my surprise, I came to know HMP was still making watches. And it's only been a year since I've gotten into this craze, you might say. But uh, yeah, it's been good to be part of the group where knowledge flows easily and it's good to know that watches are still available. The company might or might not stay, There's, that's a future which is uncertain but I'm pretty sure the HMT watches are still available and there are so many more to go. My journey is only since began and I'm quite excited. Hi, myself Algon. Uh, I'm actually founder of watches. But, uh, once I was googling, I found I found that still HMT is running and I've seen that uh, one guy is always uh, like in, in some way. Uh, uh, some forums he was uh, uh, st uh, telling about the watches and, uh, and he's putting his uh, watch pics and all. His name is Prashant Pile. Then I contacted him, I became friend and I started s searching the watches. I, I, I first purchased my uh, Chanta, then I went to went on to purchase Pilot and Sona. And currently I'm having around 35 watches. Uh, all are very be beautiful watches. And I'm still looking for hundreds of watches. Oh, okay. So my journey with watches pretty much uh, started at a pretty young age in terms of the interest at least. I uh, was pretty crazy about this one uh, watch that my grandfather had which was a citizen which I always eyed. And uh, it was passed on to me after his demise. And uh, there was another watch of IWC which uh, I always laid my eyes on. Uh, in magazines and wherever I saw which was a pilot uh, watch. And uh, there was a relative, sorry, not even a relative, but dad's, my dad's friend who was an employee of HMT who came home one day and I was just talking to him about this. And uh, getting a sense of what my line of interest is, he told me about this particular watch called the Pilot by HMT, which I suppose given all the watches I have, it still is my favorite. And uh, I was absolutely blown by the design. I mean, it's incredibly impressive. Um, I am... A wannabe avid collector, let us say, because I'm uh, probably the most recent member of the group and uh, most recently initiated into the collecting aspect of uh, watches. Um, having said that, um, I do collect watches which really appeal to me simply because of the fact that uh, I always keep looking at my watches all the time because, I mean, the watch I'm wearing simply because of the fact that just that beautiful and uh, as a happy consequence of which I'm always aware of what the time is, which is what keeps me punctual. Uh, which is pretty much uh, something that I always aspire to be punctual and uh, I suppose that is what appeals to me most about watches and HMT in particular. Okay, so we had this uh, meeting today and uh, the idea was basically to connect with different collectors, different HMT collectors. Uh, I would like to say that please do not worry, these watches have been there, they've been there, they'll always be there. Even if the company closes down, don't worry about it. More than 11 crore watches made, even if 10% of those watches survive, you know, you'll have more than enough for the group and all the HMT watch enthusiasts. Enjoy your watches. Do not worry about collection. It is not about quantity. It's all about quality. You may have three watches. You may have a Pilot, a Janta and a Sona. You might have a Kohinoor, a Vijay. But that is all you need. Again. So the time you enjoy your watches, you really don't have to worry about numbers. Do not buy watches from unauthorized sources. There will be people who will be willing to help you. Use their help, but use your own discretion while using their help. And make sure that you get quality watches at the right price. When everybody starts buying watches at a high rate, 
you know, it would become the norm and it would not help the company as such, which is any which way is closing down now. And people will think that this arm Janta watch will then become a khas watch, which is not the truth. That is it. Goodbye. Yep.